Hello, how are you doing? This covers the Glen Esk Retreat Folk and Agricultural Museums. Fantastic. Lot to see. Don't try to do it all in 10 minutes because you won't be able to. There's such a lot to see, I can't say I've covered even half of it. Because I probably haven't. But I'll shut up now and let you just look, stop the video, etc. If there's anything you want to see. And I'll pick up the audio later on. And you can see from inside these drawers just how much history there is in this little set of drawers. Absolutely amazing. You could spend a day here if you're interested in the, the, the local history and still not cover it all. It's quite an area to get round. And over the other side, there's the Agricultural Museum. That's more my cup of tea. I enjoyed that very much. All the big machinery and so on. You may hear voices in the background, but there was more than me there. And quite a few people wandering in and out. I've muted the voices down a little bit, but you may still hear them. pianola type machine, you, you pump the pedals, it's like a little organ, not a pianola, but uh, I didn't try to play it because you're not meant to, and I can't play it anyway, <laughs> and that's for making butter, and I couldn't do that either because I don't know how to make butter, <laughs> bit useless really, irons, I know what they're for, but I don't profess to be skilled in the use of one. I thought the fire was good. Not really, of course, but it still looks good. And the baby in the crib.
Mrs. Brown. If anybody's watching television in the UK, they'll know all about Mrs. Brown's voice. <laughs> Not in 1895, though. There's an advert for Brenda McCarroll's show. And there's one of my favourite toys. I used to have one at school that's called a Nabacus. That is how I learned to count. And it was the nearest thing we had to a computer way back in the days. Just being... This is the taxidermy area. And there's a bloke's reflection in the case. Don't know who he is, we're camera. I'm not a lover of taxidermy, each to their own. I'd sooner have the animals live and running about. But I can understand people doing this and it's quite a skill.
to a mouse. That'll be a poem by Rabbi Burns. Old firearms. They all look to be mainly the black powder sort. I'll tell you more about them on those notices. Some lovely old guns there though. There was no rifle barring, barring on those days. It was all black powder. Some more taxidermy. Adam Christie, Sunnyside Hospital. That's, that's his work. A wee bed built into the wall, which gives the parents privacy, because mainly everybody slept in the one room. And there's the bath. <laughs> I have used a tin bath in front of the fire when I was a youngster. And also when I first started uh, in the forces at home, used to use a tin bath. Good Lord, that's gone back a bit. <laughs> Now we will be going over to the Agricultural Museum and the other areas across the road, not across the road, across the car park. Now. And here we are going in. It's quite a, a biggish area to the right and to the left. I think we'd call it today heavy industry. I'm going to shut up now and let you have a look round. And I'll say Tara the new at the end.
the end is near, so I will say ta the new to all that are watching. Cheerio!